and we're back to the haunted house. Looks so like a magnet. What's the most disturbing thing? Garage. I wonder if they actually intended to bring a car here. Those ancient oaks of the apartheid days that came out right in their fancy motor vehicles. such a waste that it's left us. It is. <laughs> Some of the more intrepid members of our party came here last night. But at half past 11, not at 12 o'clock, the witching hour. said that uh, the ghost of Mrs. Hansen makes an appearance whenever there's more than one female on the island. I don't assume that's a slot that's been left behind. But despite years of neglect, See that the floors are still relatively sound. And this particular room would be wonderful. Sea view. All you need to do is put in a huge window here. It's really interesting to see if people would come and stay here laying the floor. This is handsome, they make an appearance. said that when there are more than two females in the party, what our dear friend Mrs. Hansen does is she chooses to go and sit on the chest of the male member of the party and kind of scream into his face. Lovely. So don't come here with a dicky heart or a chest guard. The well that uh, Mrs. Hansen is purported to have drowned herself in is just a little ways down this path. But apparently, you can stand in the well. So uh, there's a little bit of doubt about whether she actually drowned herself. I mean, who would voluntarily hold her head? underwater and commit suicide that way. Surely there are lots of other more efficient ways than uh, holding your head underwater. did drown herself in the world, at least she died facing Port Elizabeth. And if it was at night, the gannets would have been quiet. The penguins would have brayed a little bit as she went past them. Lonely life, eh? 